hey y'all so this is part two of the little taco series and we're making a side or a topping um we're making guacamole something that i'm not familiar with and i don't actually like i've been trying to like avocados for about two years now because they are so good for you and everyone raves about them so i try guacamole every time i can i try avocados on different things um, but the only place I have found that I like guacamole is at a restaurant here in, in the town where I live, or kind of adjacent town. Actually, it's the twin to my town. Uh, it's a little place called Casa Mexico, and it's the only place I've ever liked guacamole. And I've tried it all over. So I thought maybe I'd try my hand at it and make my own. That's what we're going to do. It's going to go with the uh, special burrito tacos that we've made in part one and part three of this series. So let's go ahead. We're going to start by getting our avocado out of this. I'm going to show you how I do one and then by the magic of editing, the rest will be done. So you just cut around the half and then pop it out like that and then you do that cool little knife trick that you see online without cutting yourself and then pull the pit out uh, and put the pit somewhere uh, actually save the pit because that's going to come in handy later and then you just get your avocado out using a spoon It's that easy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my other avocado and then we'll come back together and continue on this guacamole adventure. Okay, y'all, I've got my avocado de-shelled and I've got it in a bowl. I'm just going to give it a light mash with a fork. Okay, so it should start to look like that. Now we're going to go ahead and add our other ingredients. Some of them are pretty traditional and some of them are from my crazy brain. So first we're going to start with limes. The produce in North Dakota uh, is dodgy at best. So I've got three tiny little limes because that's all they had. But if you have access to regular sized limes, you'll just need two. So I'm going to roll them to get their juices going. And then I'm going to have them and we're going to do two on it right now and save the last one to put on top. Since I have never made guacamole before and I'm not a fan of it in general, I did a lot of internet research and I found a bunch of hacks to keep it fresh. So that last lime is going to be one of those. So just squeeze these buddies right on top. Okay, once you've got your lime juice in there, just give it another little stir. Not too much. Okay, and then you want to do salt and pepper and this one is definitely to taste so salt and pepper it as much as you think you're going to need and then we'll taste and see if we need any more and some more traditional ingredients we're going to pop in some garlic powder we're going to do some onion powder and then a little me ingredient i'm going to do some dill i saw a recipe for pickle guacamole which is actually what i wanted to make um, but i don't have all the ingredients so and it's quarantine and I'm not running out for extra ingredients. So I've got freeze dried dill and I'm just going to take some and kind of reactivate it in my hand. Okay, and the last ingredient and the last me ingredient, I just found this amazing Frank's Red Hot seasoning and I want to try it. And I like spicy things and I like spicy guacamole and I don't have any jalapenos to pop in there so Frank's dip. If you don't have this, you can leave it out. You can put in jalapenos. You can do whatever you need to do to spice yours up or don't spice it up. Some people don't like spicy food and I accept you. So now that we've got our ingredients in there, we're just going to mix it up. That's what our finished ingredient looks like. We're going to give it a little taste. I actually like it. It's going to go, I'm going to stroke your death. It's going to go great with our part three concoction. Um, so before we put this away, I saved the pits because I read online 
And if you put it on top of your finished product, it helps save it. And we're going to squeeze some more lime juice on top to also try to help keep it from going brown because apparently that's the thing. This was part two, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And then I hope you stick around for part three. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.